Okay, guys, we'd like to welcome our amazing Italian couple, Francesca and Sabrina Bertini. Hello! Buongiorno! Ah, buongiorno. <laughs> buongiorno. <laughs> how are you guys? Uh, how is everything in California right now? We're good. Right now, it's just like trying to go back to normal life yeah. as much as we can. Already the fact that we can go back to the studio and teach few classes, of course, not as before with all of the like six feet apart and wearing gloves and wearing masks. Of course, we know it's not maybe the best thing, but at least it's something and we are not at home. All day. Eating. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> exactly. We were like, okay, that's it. But we, yeah, we've seen quite a lot of videos of Sabrina back. cutting your hair and uh, doing yes, a lot of things yes, before. Yes. <laughs> we, we had a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, we, we had, rest, we, had, yeah, we, we had eat, fun. Yeah, we had fun. and now we need to work hard for that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, guys, uh, we will go maybe first. How did you guys meet? When was that? How did your career start? <laughs> This is this like is actually <laughs> my favorite story, okay? I'm trying to make it a little shorter than, than all of it, okay? So basically, um, we are from the same city in Italy, yes? She was just in a different dance studio before. So it was like, I think it was like June, anyway, summertime, okay? And I was 11. And I was practicing because on Friday night, we used to have this practice all together with the music and with the teachers just like screaming at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that night, the door of the studio opened and usually never happened because nobody can watch the practice. Mm -hmm. The door opened and this beautiful girl, white t-shirt, blue jeans, white shoes and a white purse walking to the, to the teacher. I'm like, who's that girl? She's so pretty. <laughs> of course, it was Sabrina, yes? And she was 13. Okay? So I was like, okay, I'm in love. She needs to be mine somehow. But of course, no, like you, 13. You made it. Yeah. She was 13. I was 11. Usually they look at like older guys. Let's yeah. put it this way. Yeah. So I'm 11. I'm just a kid. So I had to try and try and try for like five years. Oh my gosh. Or oh. she say, yes. Okay, fine, we can hang out together. <laughs> so we start first as boyfriend and girlfriend. And then I was like, okay, you know what? We have to dance together. You are like way too good. Uh, and I was like, yeah, you need to be also my dance partner. So, so the first few practice also together were tough because she was already like youth, you know, like an experience under 21. I just came out of junior. Hmm. So I was like, Okay, I gotta work harder, you know, I was dying after the practice all the time, but hey, we made it, so it, was perfect, it, right? it, was it worked out pretty well. You guys just celebrate the third uh, wedding anniversary. Yes, 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 yes. Anniversary. <laughs> yes. yes that's amazing. But actually, 13 together and three married, married already. Also, you guys did the same thing as us, after 10 years you got married. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. After I go always... to the United States and try to live together. Then I was like, okay, now we it's just time. need to get married. And he's the one, right? Yeah. So that's okay. amazing. So that's very, very. I think it's very unusual. I don't know in Poland that eleven-year-old boy falls yeah. in love so quickly, right? <laughs> With a girl. Oh, I was like, you have an eleven-year-old exactly. son. I, I don't even I see this happening. About, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe soon. I don't know. I think it's far. I think you need to have Italian blood for this. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm like in love with women since I was like even younger. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, even at school, you know, when I like primary school, when you're like six and seven, I was trying to have girlfriend all the time. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then Sabrina was very first. Is that first something that you didn't know? <laughs> No, there you go. <laughs> See, oh. so we, since, uh, you already spelled one little thing. Uh, we would like to know: is there anything else that, besides that, Sabrina didn't know that the dance world doesn't know about Francesca and Sabrina? So okay, can you can say, say something. Yeah, you can tell mine. <laughs> so you guys need to know: you always see Francesco super crazy. Also, the competition before compete, everybody's like 
work hard and uh, try to be concentrated and then this little boy coming and jumping and be excited can wait to go inside the floor but then when he's home it's super quiet he's in your sofa rest don't talk just sometimes sometimes come on just when he wake up but <laughs> Then uh, other things, uh, he's my Cinderella. He loves, he loves to clean. I know. Before this interview, I was at the phone with my with, sister, with the sister, and he's starting to clean it. And I say, can you stop because I'm talking right now? Yeah, it was back, you know, with the vacuum and stuff, and cleaning all of the doors. So, like, so I say he's Cinderella. Oh, yeah. he's a Cinderella. Cinderella. I like to be very <laughs> organized. Perfect, perfect husband. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I just don't like to cook. Don't make me cook. Oh, really? I, I, I literally don't like. Okay? I like to eat, but not to cook. But I like to clean because I like to see everything where I want it to be. So then I don't waste any time in look for things. <laughs> you know, I said, oh, that's where it is. Got it. <laughs> See, no. that's amazing. So and you guys Sabrina complement each other. Yeah, but Sabrina is opposite. <laughs> when you see her at the competition, she's like quiet, you know, <laughs> very shy. Then, of course, when she's on the floor, she got like tiger, you know, <laughs> uh, wild beast. But very quiet, try not to talk to anybody, <laughs> right? When she's home, she sings. Oh my God. She's like, <laughs> with her own words, because nobody knows what she's singing. I'm just she's inventing like, I don't know words. what language <laughs> is she talking. Even with Italian songs, it's not Italian. It's like, who knows which language she's speaking, right? And she goes like, even with the dance, it's like, stop and now. Oh my God, then. with yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> she loved the Spice Girls, right? So she knows all of the songs since she was a kid. No. No, the song yeah, is a big my, word. My but, words. Yeah. And then, yeah, she, she hide. She hide in the closet These before I, I wake up. <laughs> and she scares me. Like, I open the door of the bathroom and she's like, jump out of the closet and scares me. And sometimes I do video record for him. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? Like, leave me alone. Like, just woke up, you know? <laughs> Get used to this already. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Because no, because in the I morning, find new space sometimes. Yeah. Or she like hide in the kitchen. She like go down very quiet and then like she jump out and I'm like, really? I just woke up so I don't think. <laughs> right? I don't think in the morning. It's like, just give me coffee, give me food and then I can start thinking. So the about person something. who is a younger in a partnership, right? Based on that. On oh, the no, the youngest one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, but we never have like a boring moment. Let's put it this way. It's, it's sometimes I see that she's down, then I try to go a little yeah. more and then vice versa, she does the same to me. They're perfect for each other. You just see, you just perfect support match. each other. That's a perfect match. Yeah. Right? So Sabrina cooks, you clean. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. And I do laundry. I love to cook, but also eat. Yeah. Robert does laundry too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, laundry, ironing. I'm obsessed with this. He does this too. I hate ironing. Oh my gosh, I will buy everything that you don't have to iron. If I have yes. to, yes. But I do the same. But if I have to iron, I'm the one. And then she, if I'm using it already, Sabrina comes and says, Listen, I have this skirt that if you iron it, will be like, it will look better. And I'm like, I got it. Just give it to me, you know? <laughs> Oh, I was starting, I was like, okay, just give it to me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, I hate it. Yeah. Even on the competitions, he would always iron my dresses. And you know, with the same. Yeah. Like, we goes, no, 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 there's still a spot, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and then she's like, no, but you don't have to do it perfectly. I'm like, okay, fine. And then I go just a little quicker, especially if we are like, we are in a rush. Then she wear it and it's like, listen, if you had to do it this way, why did you do it? You know, like just leave it the way it was. And I'm like, you asked me not to do it perfectly. <laughs> okay. <Have a> lot <laughs> <of fun. laughs> yeah. Never mind. Oh, that's so funny, guys. Oh my gosh. We, uh, like, uh, obviously, I don't know you that well in person. I've seen you mainly competing and judging uh, Pro-Am because uh, we stopped. Uh, I don't know what year did you actually guys get to America? What was the year? We came November 2014, the yes. very first time. 
Well, yeah, you guys came when we already retired because we yeah. retired yeah. In, in November 2013. So we kind of missed each other. Uh, but uh, like Swavik knew you guys a little bit and he was like, they are so we funny. Were, they yeah, will be perfect together. for the we're cast. Together. Yeah, we were together at the competition. Yes. Uh, oh, that was a fun moment. That was a fun moment. Yes, yes. And now we have to get them. And you guys supposed to do a show for Royal Ball this year. Yes, yes, I know. And we're supposed to have you guys for the Mastery Camp. Yeah. Uh, that was the first introduction of the two of you, but unfortunately, you know, the word flipped around. <laughs> Everybody yeah. Everybody yes. So, but how was the experience of filming those videos for us, especially that you guys didn't know any student, you really didn't know what the camp is about, it was supposed to be your first one. So for, how for was you, it? For you probably was the hardest from everyone because you're the newest. <laughs> yeah. So. Of course, not knowing, you know, who generally joined the camp, you know, you kind of have no idea. idea of like level or like, what do you know, what you don't know. So what we like to do, especially when we need to like do an introduction for ourselves, we like to explain what really worked for us from the very beginning of our training, because for me, like even if right now we are the professional teaching, yes? But everybody start as a student. So yeah. we were the students long time ago. So I always like to give the way I was trained, even though maybe I was a kid and most of the time we teach like senior or like 40 plus, you know? So it's kind of a different way of approaching. But for me, it's like, it doesn't matter. Dance is dance, no matter which age or which level you are so we like to give what it worked for us and of course when you start with like the basics and start developing you know like the footwork and the leg action the hip action if you have a better understanding of all of these things then when you have like open choreography then everything is, is, is easier you know so we like to go from the basic fundamental first you know, and let the people understand what we like to do. And then, of course, we see that we are crazy, you know. You would never think like, oh, okay, you know, like they go also with the technique. It's like, yes, we also do technique. We just don't just go crazy, you know. <laughs> That's why we can go crazy right now because we have like strong Fundamental. fundamentals, you know. But definitely they, the... Um, the experience was great. Yeah, it was great. It was just like for me, for myself, what was hard, really like talking with nobody, just in from the camera. And normally when we do group class, we like to really have fun with people. So this was the hard part. Yeah. So, yeah. but it was good. But it was, it was good. And then the other funny things about... Uh, and that's another thing that probably nobody knows is that we don't have driver license. We <laughs> never drove in our life. Okay. We don't have yet. 28 and 30 years old, never drive in our life. So Uber were not working. So somehow we needed to go to the studio. So we bike <laughs> yeah, to the studio with like backpack and stuff, you know, with everything on our shoulder and like bike into the studio and then like you're not really supposed to use the studio right but it was just me and Sabrina so what's the point so we were there and we were always afraid that somebody was like try to open, open the door and one time it happened somebody tried to open the door of the studio but of course we lock ourselves inside and we start like panicking like switch off the light switch off the light it's like, stop the recording stop the recording and then actually it was just the wind yeah. I'm like, great, great. <laughs> but the rest, no, we, we no, had we good. had fun. We it was had nice fun. experience to do. Yeah. So guys, what so so what do you think uh the students or, or, or you know whoever was joining us uh could, could get from, from those videos? You wanna go? So I'll... for me what was really really nice to to see is that uh, you can really focus more in this kind of moment in your technique and feel really like your body because you do everything by yourself. Yes, yes with our help from the video, but still you need to do your own. I think a lot of people 
they was really improving a lot during this kind of quarantine because they watching a lot of video and they practice always by their self. So the yeah. moment right now they will see their teacher, they will feel completely different. Yeah. So, so one of the thing I can uh, one of the thing I can say it's um we also teach a lot on Zoom. Fortunately, our students were like really um, wanted to help, you know, the studio. So they took for the entire quarantine lessons on Zoom and they're yeah. still doing it, you know, because we still want to offer this. Um, and what, what I figure is that right now they are so much more balanced mm -hmm. and they have so much more strength in their legs and feet because all they had to do is dancing on their own yeah. without us yeah. holding, you know? So right now they're just doing everything by themselves. So right now with our help, they can get faster. They can have like better routine. I, I feel it was like really good. And we didn't have competition back to back. So they actually had time to practice. To practice. Yeah. Yeah. So that was actually really good. Yes, I think a lot of yeah. people, you know, especially those who use this time wisely, they really benefit, even yeah. if it's, you know, yes. 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 We work with quite a few people on a regular basis mm -hmm. from the beginning. Uh -huh was happening uh, from America and uh, from Italy and we actually see how much they are improving it from lesson to lesson and it's amazing for you guys for sure the same for us how the eye gets so much more experience when we pick yes. little yes. things that at the beginning things, maybe yeah. we wouldn't even worry about this but then you start seeing yeah. those little things yeah. and they're actually working and you see how much and they feel happy because they feel balanced they feel yeah. that they already that's, that's their true. body and they're so much more aware of themselves that's yeah. so, that's really amazing okay yeah so the, so the next thing let's let's move on maybe yeah. So, uh, what what was your biggest achievements? What what because you know we know that you you got a lot of uh, great great success in your and, dancing. But yeah. what do you think is it's the biggest achievement? What you're the most proud of? Uh, to be honest, I'm proud of everything we did. Since uh, even like when we were with different it partner, partner. Uh, and I was like ten, and I did my first Blackpool Junior. And I was in the final all the time. And Sabrina as well. Under 21, we did all the final. Amateur also. Um, so we were like, we're just proud, you know, of like our progress all the time. Um, so if I have to pick one. I mean, I, pick I one, it's hard. Yeah, but, it's hard. But in this kind of moment, right now that we are living more, I mean, we're living in, in America. States, yeah. So last year that we make our first U.S. Um, final, final, yeah, this was the bigger one, I think. Yeah, this for sure. And then when we was dancing, also for us was really surprised, like to one uh, Ohio show. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this was really two years really in a row. Yes, yeah. The first, the first year that we actually won the show, we that expect. was our very first Ohio. Oh really? Yes. That was very, yes. our very first Ohio. That's amazing. And then for the second year, last year, I was kind of nervous, yeah. you know, because I was like, okay, we won last year. I, of course, want to win this year as well. Mm -hmm. The night before, I dreamed that after the final, you know, that you go and you need to pick the number for the order of the show. I dreamed that we finished the jive. I go there and I pick number five. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what happened actually the yes. next day. Uh -huh. So... I start having like chills in my skin and I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? I just dream it's about true. it. It looks like, oh my God, did it happen already? You know, I start pinching myself. And then when we won, then I start be emotional. Usually I'm not that emotional because for me, the most important, I want to feel good with Sabrina when we dance the competition. Then results will come eventually. I'm not like so much into results. If we win, good. If we get second, maybe we're gonna win the next one, you know? Um, but that day I was like, oh my God. And I started being emotional. And then I turn and I see Slavic standing up. <laughs> and you, yes. did, you did this to me. I have it in the video. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I have it in the video. It's like, it's super cool. I was like, 
really, really happy. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. amazing, especially in Ohio when you win and you have all this audience standing up for you. Yeah. It's, it's like the biggest there's uh, no other, ballroom. There's, there's no, no other, other place that you feel the same. We and, felt yeah. and this competition this year was super special because everybody was scream, up, scream our name yeah. from the first round. We bought the so recording nice. and it was crazy to hear how many people actually scream our name. And I'm like, wow, that means yeah. like... People like know, you know, and it's like people liked us, and I'm like, that 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 was like my this is a lot for best, us. let's yeah. say, best experience so far. Yes. yes, you guys are working so hard, not only professionally, but both of you are competing very actively pro am. So you mm -hmm. people know you everywhere yeah. from both fields. So we always did the same thing. We've competed both while we were uh, competing professionally. Mm -hmm. And it was actually great because some people before never actually paid attention because they don't come to the evening. They all yeah, need exactly. to the morning and they yeah. show up at the Ohio Star Ball because that's when they all have these awards and presentations yeah. the entire year. So suddenly all those students that they actually never come to the evening gala, they actually know you because they've been competing against your students. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are doing pretty much every single competition that is available. Yeah. At least once a month. At least once a month we do that with yeah. students. Then I feel like I see last, you. Last year we did 20, 24. Yeah, I think I, I count like 24 competition and eight shows, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty active. Yeah, pretty That's active last fun. year. Yeah, but it was fun. It we was like fun. we like when we are busy, when we have so many things going on. Because the moment we stop, we are yeah. So then relaxed. we're like done. It's like so. It's better to have a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Yeah. So, uh, guys, uh, we know what was your biggest achievement. It was hard. Who was, if you can name uh, a person or an artist, someone who was or is your biggest inspiration in your dancing? Um, so I can for, say Yeah, you can, you can, you can. So we, the moment we arrived here in America, we were starting working with Shirley. And for me, she's one of the best. I mean, I love how she talk, how I love how she explains steps, how she really use her experience to explain to you how to become better, but at the same time, to don't make you lose your personality. Yeah. Be yourself. Be yourself. So this is something that I really love on her. And of course, how she dance, how she's light, but at the same time, ground and sexy and... Uh, really feminine so for me her it's amazing yeah i i love to i love her yeah you had to yeah. see my very first lesson with her i was like so pressuring her to have lesson normally, and she never nor replied normally Frenchie is never shy you guys need to know he's never shy yeah but that lesson he was she's like okay dance with me and i'm like <laughs> he was like, like to give the hand he was just really a basic like group that. but like fully red and I'm like oh my god I'm dancing with Shirley Ballas you know but yeah definitely I can say I can say the same uh, since I was a kid I was looking also at her videos and of course like Donnie Burns you know with Gaynor and Barbara McCall and Sammy Stafford all of these you know major dancers they were all my inspiration but my biggest one for me were my brother and sister so they were dancing when I was a little kid and I didn't want to dance uh, at that time I started when I was like nine uh, but then I just say you know what this is what I love so I'm gonna start dancing and they were just like there for me, you know, like make me practicing me and pushing. I, even if I was nine, I was practicing probably six hours every day. Wow. After school, you know, because like they were pushing and pushing and pushing. And then I always remember my brother saying to me, I'm going to retire because I want to invest on you. It's like, you're much more younger than me and you have, you are, way more talented and you are already achieved so many results so i want to invest on you so for me that was like something i will never forget and something that i will always be grateful for so if i have to say like my biggest biggest inspiration that will be my brother and sister for sure
That's really That's beautiful. amazing. Beautiful story. Yeah. So uh, the, the, your brother uh, was dancing uh, as an amateur as well? The professional. Entire... Yeah, they were professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both my brother and sister. But my brother is 11 years older than me and my sister eight. So I was like almost having four parents. <laughs> but, you know, it's like they were like much older than me. So it was like they literally grow me up also. So it was nice. Wow, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah, see, that, it's, it's great that you have the family support, right? That's yes. something that's going to drive you and yeah, uh, yeah. that support to, even when there are moments of going down, right. you know, yes. all of us, we have those moments. There's always that one Someone person who will tell you and they will say, we believe in you, you can do it. You know, don't yeah. be bad. you know, because all of us, yeah. we had probably moments in our career that we were wondering if yes. this is the right path. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Before, I, like when we moved to United States, uh, that same year, we did the TV program in Italy, which I didn't like the experience. And um, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not sure this is actually what I want to do. And Sabrina was like, no, come on. You know, like we love to dance. Uh, then when we moved to United States, uh, literally after a month or two, Shirley was saying to us, okay, you need to be professional. Like right now you're in the States, you gotta work a little better. So right now you start to be, you're gonna be professional. Sabrina start crying <laughs> right away. From that moment in my mind, something click again. And I was like, yes, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So I was up again. Yeah. But otherwise for like two or three months, I was like, mm, I'm not sure I wanna do this, you know? But then they were like pumping me up again, so. Here we are still. So we have one more question. <laughs> what made you guys do and make the decision to, 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 to move, to, to, move to United States? So, so actually start everything from Facebook. Yes. We receive a text from a person, of course, and they was just say, we will looking forward for a two Italian dancer. If you guys would like to come and try, you are really welcome. So in Italy, that kind of period was a little bit tricky, like for work was really hard. So we say, you know what, let's try, just go and try. I mean, my idea, first of all, because I'm really exactly. close to family and everybody there. So it was really... I was going to say, what? why are you saying this? That's not true. I pushed to say, let's go and try. Sabrina was like, no, you go, I I'm not no. coming. Come on, no way. Right. No, but come on. <laughs> I say, if we go and try, I'm fine. If then you want to decide to stay, I will leave. I will not stay there. I want to come back home to my mama. That was me. That was me. So, right now, right now, I'm a little bit different. But it's, re it's still hard to be very yeah, far. far from yeah. family. But it's good that right now we have FaceTime, call them every three hours. We are there FaceTime and say everything. But this is what happened. So we come here, we stay how long? Two months, three months, two, three, or a little bit less. We stay like till Christmas, then we came back So home. we just try because yeah. the moment I, we are right here, I didn't talk any English at all. I was just talking in Italian. So for me was the moment they say, okay, from tomorrow you start to do some group class, terrify. I already talked to Franchi. You will need to say that I don't talk any English, okay? <laughs> so slowly, slowly then we started to talk. He was teaching me English. I was every day with my book and write, yeah. how no. are you? What do you want to do for your class? So everything right there. But then we are right here, we start teaching a little bit, then we see that of course the situation about working was better in here. So we were starting already to thinking about, but for my things, my idea was anyway, then I need to come back, it doesn't matter. For him, no, is uh, no. If we work in better here, we stay here, and I say, okay, you can stay by yourself. <laughs> so, and then right now we feel really, really good because we working with Thomas and Isabella Lewandowski. We move into to working with them in the Fred Astaire company. We are really, really good. They are really our family. It's a nice. Uh, 
atmosphere with them. So we love it. And of course, right now, we know that our future will be here. Yeah. Right now, we understand this. Yeah. I understand yeah. this. Sabrina already looking at me and say, listen, when can we buy these houses, you know, with the view and with the pool? It's like, do we have a million dollars yet, at least in our bank account? And I'm like, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> and I we need to work for a few more years. We will work hard. <laughs> yeah, but right now, yeah, we feel like this is our place. Yeah, yeah. isn't that amazing? You know, I was exa exactly the same like you, Sabrina. I, we came uh, to California to Hacienda Heights to Vivo, and we were yeah. uh, our first visa was for three years. I was crying. When we got an offer, do you guys want to come? I said no. He said yes. And I was the one who didn't speak any English. He didn't well, speak said, any coming, English. Coming, you know? So we have so many similarities <laughs> yeah, in so our lives. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. We're laughing because it's a lot of the same stories. But then yeah. you see that uh, for professionals, I don't believe there is any other place on a planet mm -hmm. these days. Yeah. So many competitions, so many possibilities. So many to great make coaches around. Income right? coaches. Yeah. It's a luxury yeah. to have a... Uh, all those teachers here and you can actually afford those lessons versus when we were in Poland it was like almost impossible same thing, exactly. for us. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. yeah so it's it's amazing to kind of show a success story right that for yeah. so many Europeans that they come here I know we take we take the ballroom jobs away from the Americans sometimes yeah. but but we actually I think we Europe made America so successful and on the end we become part of this uh, family of American dancers and yeah. we represent this country with the uh, big being very proud uh, but it just we're I think all of us we're so grateful to United States for all this possibility we are we yeah. are definitely we are yeah Income and so many competitions that everybody in Europe are just jealous right that we yes, yes. every weekend twice every, three times. every weekend you have like at least two competition every weekend and I'm like five. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. You the students and that also give you chance to you know to your competitive uh, side will still yeah open, right? so it's yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we guys, we're so so privileged and so happy that you found time to to talk to us. With yes. you know, about of course, of course, of course. Guys. that was fun. Yes, that was really fun. fun. Really fun to get to know you. We hope next year there will be nothing but regular dancing. Yes, we can have you yeah. back at the Royal Ball and the Mastery Camp. Yes. And we are excited. Yeah. I know, especially knowing that it's in Vegas, and Vegas is like our favorite place. When we have even one or two days, Vegas, that's where yeah. we want to go. Not to gamble. Not, Not to, to gamble. We don't drink, we don't party. We just <laughs> stay at the pool and eat the chicken wings by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's another thing. <laughs> oh I guess, I guess uh, for your happy meal, we're going to get you a lot of chicken uh, chicken wings, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's ordered by the pool bar. That's perfect. There you go. <laughs> Jacuzzi in a room, no problem. And then the yeah. chicken wings for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Guys, Thank it was guys. such a pleasure to have you with us. We hope you guys stay safe. We hope California gets you guys. Yeah, and we cannot wait to get back there too. But I know, I know. I'm here enjoying being with the family in Poland. Yeah. So, Sabrina, I'm very much like you, mama, mama's daughter, and I want to place. So, we take advantage this year yeah. and we can actually That's have great. Together. That's so, great. Yes. So, guys, thank so you so much. All the best. Thank you, guys. Thank so you. Much. Good luck. All your projects. We cannot wait to see you soon. Yeah. Thank For you us so too, much. guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Take Bye.